everybody, this is Rob Shermack with Jeunesse Concrete. I'm the director of sales for Jeunesse. And today we're here with Randy Bianchi from Technofield. Hi, good morning, Randy. Good morning. And we're gonna talk about Sticky Stone and how we can do veneer applications with Sticky Stone. So Sticky Stone is our latest and greatest from Technoseal. Uh, we can now do things like uh, veneer stone on, on walls and all sorts of things. Um, also we have our structure bond, which is actually how Jeunesse builds their comfort block wall. We'll talk a little bit about that, but we're going to mainly focus uh, on sticky stone. Before we start, I just want to show you quickly um, how quick and easy it is to set the gun up. The gun comes in a box like this. Uh, it's an aluminum Albion gun. Uh, and it comes with a whole series of tips. Uh, plenty of tips to get you started. The only thing we need to do um, with what's in the box is we need to cut our tip to a half an inch in uh, opening. So we basically take the, the collar off, we drop the plunger back, there's a little trigger here and you pull back here, and on the tube there's a little ring, there's a little uh, metal ring. All we need to do is snip that ring off, drop the sausage in the gun, um, put our tip on, slide the collar over, now, Randy, is the how how much you cut off at the at, at the tip? Is that going to be determined on what your bead size is going to be? We're always going to work with a half an inch bead. Just take your any kind of uh, knife. We're basically just going to give ourselves a half, a half inch. inch opening. Right. When you purchase sticky stone by the case, um, it, the the box will actually come with half inch V uh, V notched nozzles already. Okay. But in this case, we're going to use one of the ones that comes with the gun. We're going to cut it. And again, we're going to secure with the uh, with the collar. Give it a couple of pumps, and the material. Yeah. There it is. It's ready to rock. Cleanup's really easy. So as you as you know, the the material is inside the uh, the sausage tube. The material never sees the inside of the gun. When we're done and we we've, we've extruded this all the way to the bottom and we release this collar, basically what you have is you have the entire tube empty compressed into the tip and it's very clean it pops right off you can throw it away you can put your next sausage in snip your collar put a new cap and there's no cleaning involved nice i like it as far as storage of sticky stone randy when we're storing sticky stone you know for a contractor and we're we're storing it in the warehouse um, in between usage or on the job site for storage on the job site, weather on the job site, temperature ranges that we'd be wanting to use it or not wanting to use it in. Um, what can we, what can we say about that? So a couple of things in regard to weather. Uh, one, as, as far as storage goes, we never, we always want to be above freezing, so it doesn't have to be a heated space, but it definitely should be above 35 degrees. Same goes for the climate, the weather when you're actually on a job. Uh, you typically want to be somewhere in you know in the 40 degree range and you want to be using sticky stone on a dry substrate. Unlike our, our structure bond, which likes moisture when we're building with comfort block and you're actually bonding the blocks together, um, the blocks can be damp and our structure bond actually sets up and cures quicker. It does. But when we're using veneer with sticky stone, um, we want a dry substrate. Let's say you had asked about uh, storage in the gun. Um, this is an air cured uh, type of adhesive, but let's say we, we get, we're halfway through the tube and it's the end of the day, what do we do? We simply leave an overhang on our nozzle, similar to what you see here, about a quarter inch, and you just let it harden up. It'll sort of rubberize itself, and when you come back tomorrow to start the job, you grab it and you just pull it off like a plug, and the material is ready to go. Similar to the structure bond, actually, in that regard. Pretty much. And, I, and, I've, and I've had some that have sat for a few weeks, and I pull that, that plug off at the end, and it, ready it's still go. ready to go. Ready to go. That's great. That way you don't get a lot of waste. Um, you know, you're not throwing out a half of a tube that hardened up on you. Right. And as far as environmentally too, you're, you know, as opposed to a traditional caulking tube, you're not talking about all the cardboard and, and everything that's going to end up in a landfill around that. You've right. basically just got your cellophane wrap, wrapper that's right. and that's going to end up in your, in your nozzle tip at the end and, yeah. and that's really your only waste, which right. is great. Right. As far as substrate types, Randy, what can we apply sticky stone and the various materials that we'd be, we'd be adhering sticky stone with um, as far as the substrates that we're gonna, we're gonna use behind sure. it. Sure, so, there's, so let me start out with what you can't adhere to. So the only thing you really can't adhere to are things like nylon, Teflon, uh, polyethylene, polypropylene, plastic sheet. 
Everything else is fair game. So externally, that means uh, concrete block, um, scratch coat, um, cement board, hardy backer board, plywood. Uh, internally, we can use um, sheetrock or plywood inside. So really anything but um, those plastics and those kind of um, form release type agents. As long as one side of, the, of what we're using, whether the wall or the material is porous, that's typically what we're calling it. Understood. That sounds great. Randy, how about material types? We've talked about, you know, how to store the sticky stone, the substrate materials that we want to be adhering materials to as far as concrete block and other materials that, that make good substrates. But the materials themselves, we've got we've mentioned thin veneer. What other materials would be would be would you be using sticky stone to adhere with? Sure. So so obviously thin veneer. Uh, thin veneer is kind of a catch all. We can talk about cultured stone. We can actually talk about just thin veneer, regular stone, and then we can also talk about um, fractured. Uh, help me out with the term. Um, like like thicker thicker full bed type stone yeah. that's that's a little bit heavier, not necessarily a thin veneer, thin veneer, but but full size stone. Right, like a split stone. Type split stone. Right. Yeah. You can take a larger split stone, usually a lot heavier. Um, we can pretty much glue anything any anything on there. Today we're going to be using Comfort Block, uh, Janest's patented blocks that are that are precision ground and go together with also another Technoseal product, the Structure Bond Adhesive. And that'll be our substrate today for demonstrating the, the new Sticky Stone. So today I've got Randy Bianchi as well as Janest's installation expert, Paul Brigham. And I'm going to turn it over to those two guys right now, and they're going to demonstrate how to apply sticky stone. So as you saw before, we have our we have our sticky stone done, loaded with our um, sticky stone sausage. The tip is cut, we're ready to go. And uh, Paul's got a, a nice piece of stone here for us. Again, half an inch opening. We're going to go every three inches with our bead. We're starting on our on our brick shelf here that you can see below the comfort block which is right here, and we're going to give it a little wiggle and push that on. That's, that's all there is to it. No mixing mortar, no dust, no mess, quick and easy. We're typically going to run our, run our first course, and then we're going to, by the time, on a normal size wall, by the time you get done with your first course, You've had uh, about 15 minutes. You can really continue to go um, and continue to build the layers without waiting a day or hours for that initial course to set. Um, most of the weight is being held by the sticky stone. They're really the, the brick shelf or, or pins or shims are really just for alignment purposes at this point. You can see that's a half an inch bead there and we're about every three inches. So we've gone through a whole tube of sticky stone with uh, glue in this. We took our heavier pieces off from earlier because we want to show you how fast we can actually adhere. Before we do that though, let me just show you now that we've gone through our first, our first tube, there's your waste. The inside of the gun is clean. All of the uh, cellophane is pressed against this tip. You discard the tip. You cut the ring like we did before. You drop your new piece in after you pull the plunger all the way back. Take your new tip, cut to half an inch, put your collar on, and that's how fast it is to transition between, between pieces. So now we're just going to show you just how fast um, two people can do a wall. I'm going to glue and Paul's going to stick the uh, pieces up, and we're going to kind of go quick just to show you um, how fast it can go. Yeah. 